Hi YouTube, today we're going to be talking about urban survival kits. Now with everything that's happening from earthquakes to hurricanes to possible maybe civil unrest in the near future, it's imperative that you carry an urban survival kit in your automobile. Uh, I commute roughly about 105 miles round trip each day and I live here in Southern California and the likelihood of an earthquake happening is very high and if I'm unable to get home in a timely manner it's nice to know that I have items in my vehicle that will help me uh, maybe facilitate getting home a little bit faster or in the unforeseen event that I come across uh, an automobile accident maybe I'm able to render aid um, Maybe I'm able to render a self-rescue on myself. We get stuck somewhere out in the wilderness. Uh, at least I have a few items in my pack where it makes the odds a little bit better for survival. Now, I purchased this pack last year. I bought it right after all the uh, back to school sales had ended and I got it on closeout, $15. And I went with just a regular backpack because in an urban situation, if a crap hits the fan scenario, I don't wanna look tactical. I don't wanna look like, hey, this guy knows what he's doing. You know, let's go after this guy. Um, I just wanna blend in like everybody else. Uh, I, what I have here, is what works for me for down here in Southern California. You have to put the items in your pack that are gonna work best for you wherever you live geographically. Um, you know, we deal, we don't get a lot of rain down here, you know, but the heat. So, you know, you have to deal with different things. Some people live in an environment where there's snow. So, you know, you have to put the items in your pack for the region of where you live. Now, I'm gonna set this pack down, but I'm gonna take the items out and show you on camera because I don't have a table, nice table to sit out in front of you. But uh, the first part that I have is I carry flashlight and batteries. Now, it's not the best, and you don't have to put the best. You put in what you can afford. You know, and I bought a little uh, Coast flashlight. I think I bought it at Home Depot and some extra batteries. Uh, on the outside I purchased a clean canteen stainless steel bottle uh, in the event that I have to purify water. I could possibly light a fire, bring the water in here up to a boil. Water's good to drink. Uh, that's why I went with this instead of a uh, plastic Nalgene bottle. Now inside my pack I have a compass, pens, sharpie, uh, a knife sharpener and a whistle, you know from tops. A uh, pair of gloves for when you're working. Could be working on an automobile, could be out in the elements. Just nice to have a good pair of gloves. I bought a pair of mechanics gloves. Uh, picked up a uh, Dejo survival knife. You know, it's $40, but it's good enough to leave in an urban survival kit. And it comes with its own fire starter and whistle. So I have redundancies in this kit. Remember, Two is one and one is none, so I have another possible way to make fire in there. Uh, delving inside my pack, I made a first aid kit. I went to an Army Navy store and I purchased a bag. And in this kit, I have earplugs in case you get in a situation where there's loud noise. You never know. I have gloves, 
I purchased a needle set from Walmart. It has a bunch of different needles, all the way up to like a sail needle. You never know. You might have to repair your jacket. Heck, you might have to repair your shoes. You never know. Um, I purchased these at Walmart. I use them when I go backpacking all the time. It's Coleman Bio Wipes. Um, they work really well. They're biodegradable. And uh, they're real handy to carry. They self-seal. I purchased a wound closure kit because you never know. It has in there a syringe to uh, irrigate a wound, clean it out, and uh, hopefully you can cut down on infection. It has antibiotic wipes. It has ways to uh, close a wound with uh, suture strips. So it's just one other thing in your kit to carry. And then just a basic uh, first aid kit that I purchased at uh, REI. Uh, one thing, you know, if I had to go on foot or say the car breaks down, we're out in the woods, insect repellent. You know, I bought this at, I believe, Walmart. They have it like in uh, the outdoor section, like a little travel section. Real cheap, I think it was like under $2. Have a standard cook kit, Walmart, real cheap. Have an MSR stove and a canister. That way, if I need to use that stainless steel bottle to boil water, you know, it's, remember I said two is one, one is none. So this is just something extra. You know, a hot meal goes really good when you're in a stress situation. Um, I'm not going to show you all, but I have some Mountain House that I keep in there. You know, I'm looking at possibly 72 hour bag here, you know, to get home. So a few of the mountain house. Here's my fire starting kit. In here I have a lighter, which is surefire. Have some matches. Have a ferro rod. One of the light my fire ferro rods. And I have some cotton balls with Vaseline to uh, help get a fire started. And I went out and bought some of that Gorilla duct tape. And I put it around the bottle because you never know when you need duct tape. I mean, you could seal a wound with it. You could fix your jacket. I mean, you're limited to your imagination on the uses of this Gorilla duct tape. Okay, in this little bag, and I keep everything separate because you never know if something leaks. I don't like it all dripping through my bag. Maybe that's from my backpacking experience. Um, dust mask, you never know. Hey, 9-11 buildings came down. Would have been handy to have a dust mask. Even though this is a crude one, it's better than nothing. Tin foil could be used as a signaling device. Could be used as a windbreak around your stove. Could be used to cook with. I mean... Uh, you're limited to your imagination like we were talking about before. Okay, what I have here is uh, some black nylon coated steel leaders. And I put that in my kit because you could use them as snares if you had to. Uh, just something else in your arsenal. You never know how long you're going to be away from home. Here's a little thing from my backpacking days. It's a, a Sea to Summit. Titanium fork, knife, and spoon. You know, when you shop around, you get all this stuff, great deals, you know, in the off seasons. Uh, Burt's Bees Lifeguard Choice um, Lip Balm for Sun and Snow. You know, hey, I work inside. I don't, you know, I'm not out all day long. And uh, if you're out in the elements, especially if you're at elevation, you know, this is a great item to have in your kit. Okay, let me put this down, right on to the next item. Okay, remember I showed you the pen and the Sharpie? Well, in here I have a book to write notes. Um, have a post-it pad. Maybe you have to abandon the car. It's nice to leave a note saying, hey, this is where we're going. This is who's with me. This is the direction that we're going. This is the date and the time that we left. 
just something else, more information to give uh, for a rescue party. You never know. We get in a situation, say we're out in the desert and the car breaks down, and obviously you're not going to walk away from the car, you know, during the day in the desert. And that may be your only shade. You know, a deck of cards, something to break the monotony, especially if you have kids in the car. You know, something to keep their mind off of what's going on and maybe bring down the stress level a little bit of the situation. Okay, next item in my kit, I have, have an emergency blanket. I just have two cheap rain ponchos that I purchased at Walmart. They're the uh, Ozark Trail. I put some reflective bands in my kit um, I did a lot, of, I used to do a lot of road cycling and I used to wear these, you know, say you're out and you want to be found and maybe uh, they're shining lights and you have this on your arm or around your leg, you're working on your car alongside of the road, maybe they'll pick this up with the headlights before they actually see you depending on what type of clothes you're wearing. Uh, it's just something else to help be found or maybe rescued. Uh, here's two more, one, two more space blankets. You know, I keep a bunch in the car because you never know how many people are going to be with you. Here's the number one item that I carry, toilet paper. Hey, when you, it's nice to have it when you need it. Okay, now here's part of my kit that you just never know when you're going to need it, but it's nice to have it. Electrical tape. A hacksaw. Now what I did is I put some of that Gorilla Tape over the hacksaw blade so it doesn't cut through my bag for one or my backpack. So it's nice to have a hacksaw blade. A pair of wire cutters. Here's a uh, cheap Stanley screwdriver that I bought that has four different bits. It's nice to have. A pair of scissors. You never know. You got to cut that duct tape or maybe some first aid items. Put some shop towels in there. You know, I bought the heavy duty um, shop paper towels, so I put them in there, you just never know. And then I have in here a little Stanley uh, cat's paw. And you never know, you might need a pry bar to pry something open. Um, it works on doors, windows, you know. Like I said before, you know, you're only limited by your imagination. I put some duct tape on these too, just to protect the bag protect my backpack. Also put in a uh, map. You know, yeah, it's just a road map, but you know, you get an idea of where you're at geographically and how far you got to go to get there. I put a chamois in there. You never know, you know, you're wet, you want to towel off and dry. Um, the uses of these chamois is unlimited by your imagination as well. Just a great item to carry in your kit. And then I always bring 100 feet of paracord. Now, you know, I don't need to tell you what you can use paracord for. I mean, you know, you could rig a shelter with it. You can take the strands out if you had to sew with it. Remember, I had all the needles. There's seven strands in here, and there's seven strands of thread. You know, if you had to repair that jacket or that boot or whatever or did sutures on yourself in an emergency situation so with paracord and last but not least my bartering item now you know a little bit of whiskey you never know sometimes it's good for morale take the edge off sometimes maybe uh, you know you need help from somebody and you say hey I'll give you a little haul off the whiskey bottle you know if you help me out you just never know. It's just one more thing in your kit to have in there, um, and it's a great bartering tool. Uh, this is Wingman, you know, and I wanted to bring this all to you today to kind of show you what I carry in my kit. Uh, I welcome your comments of what what you carry in your kit. Uh, maybe if you have some video responses of what you carry in your kit, share them with me, and we can both learn together. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.